I know. Mom, I, I get it. I, I get it. Lay off me. Can we change the subject? I am happy. It's like, it's not that easy. Fine. Hey, Marcus? Hey, Cynthia. So nice to finally see you. It's nice to see you too. Yeah, well, your bio said you like walking, right? Long walks? Let's walk. So, what do you do? Where do you work? Oh, I actually work for a nonprofit. It's really rewarding getting to work with people in need, you know? What about you? I have a job interview tomorrow, actually. Oh, that's really great. Good luck. Thanks, but really, I just wish I could explore my true passion. Oh, what's that? Horses. Horses? Really? Yup. I just love horses. I love horses too. What, what do you like about horses? Oh, well, you know, they're, they're so smart. Beautiful, powerful creatures. And the bond between rider and horse is just... Inseparable. Yeah, that. I've actually been riding horses since I was five. Well, not recently. I can't really afford it now. Hey, um, I just remembered. I'm going to see the show at the Red Band Club later this week, and they're called... Uh... Wait, don't tell me. The Midnight Doctors? Oh my god, I love them. They're so good. I've seen them a bunch of times already. Yeah, well, d d did you want to go with me to see them? Sure, I'll go with you. You know, you're not usually my type, but you're not exactly bad looking. What does that mean, not usually your type? Oh, I don't usually date guys under six foot, but you seem really cute, so I'll give you a chance. Give me a chance? Yeah, relax. Look, I almost didn't even come today because you seem kind of desperate to me in person. Me? Desperate? How about you being desperate for your sister's engagement to fall apart? What? What, what are you talking about? So you wouldn't be the only one in the family who isn't married? <laughs> what the fuck? How do you know that? Why are you not married yet, Cynthia? Oh yeah, it's because you always break up with your boyfriends because you think you can do better. You're some kind of stalker, freak. You can't do better, Cynthia. I'm too good for you. And even you know that. Get away from me, you creep. I'm too good for you! I'm too good for you! I'm too good for you. No phone? Not even a book? I'm occupying myself just fine. Thank you, though. Airhead. Marcus found? I'm ready for you. So, Marcus, uh, your resume, it's, it's a little bit sparse. Um, is there any particular reason why there are such big gaps in your employment? I've, uh, just not found a job I've wanted to stick with. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, well look, I'm gonna level with you. We're pretty desperate. We'll hire basically anybody at this point. That's, that's great. I can start whenever. Yeah. Yeah, but, see, the thing is, I, uh, I called the last place you worked at. They said that you were fired. That you, um, that you made your manager cry. Oh, yeah, that, we didn't end on good terms. 
Okay. I mean, you don't look like you're on drugs or anything, and as long as you can just come in and do the job. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I'll start you off at minimum wage, and then I think from there we'll see where we can... Uh, minimum wage? The job's at 25 an hour. I thought you were desperate. <sighs> yeah, but I mean, considering your track record, honestly, you should be lucky we even called you at all. With your impotence, you should count yourself lucky your wife only sleeps around. Excuse me? How dare Don't you? Don't play the victim. The real victim here is your mother, isn't it? <laughs> Her pension checks are supposed to be $2,000, not $1,100. It's true, she couldn't afford dog food last month. What'd you tell her? Oh, that's right. Share some of your food with the dog, Mom. Fucking brilliant. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> I don't give a shit how you know all this. Get the hell out of my office. Now. <laughs> now! Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. Make this 25 an hour, and I'll show up to this shitty job. You are desperate. In more ways than one, I think. I'll give you a call. If you're any less of an asshole than that guy was, then you're hired. No, Mom, you're... You're not listening to me. It was what they said to me Marcus that- Marcus Fan. Can't get a girlfriend. Need a regular fucking job. Can I help you? Is it because you can't stop yourself from prying? Or is it because you can't stand it when you're the one pried into? What are you talking about? How do you know this? Same way you do, Marcus. Same way you do. <laughs> I always thought I was the only one! Of course, the first other psychic I meet is a real airhead. I can't read anything going on in there. It's... It's just dead air. You never even considered trying to close your mind off to others. You are but an open book, Marcus. I'm an open book. No, 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 no. Everyone else is an open book. I just have to force your cover open. I don't even need to read your mind to know that you are an arrogant, self-centered person who has squandered their gift. You can read minds, Marcus. Yet what do you do with it? Fucking nothing. Having trouble, Marcus? Here, how about I let you in? You idiot! <laughs> now I can poke! Stop it! Stop it! It hurts! Stop it! It's cold feedback. It's what happens when you read the mind of someone already reading yours. Please. You are but a child with a gun. You have never used your psychic ability for anything but personal gain. But unlike a child with a gun, the weapon cannot be taken away from you. You are the weapon, Marcus. And I believe the only solution is... The weapon must be destroyed. Please, please, no! Don't you have to understand? 
You have to know what it's like, right? Being able to hear everyone's thoughts. Knowing their deepest, darkest secrets. I do. Like, you know this isn't a gift. It's a curse. I, I can't turn it off. My entire life, everyone has been open to me. I, I can never have a real relationship with anyone because I know what they actually think. <laughs> Don't go. <laughs> Put me out of my misery. Please. But, but why? No, I don't think you're irredeemable. I just think you have a lot to learn. Put your mind at ease. I'm not looking in there anymore. And I'll teach you how to do that as well. Hi, I'm conducting a survey of local residents for- Sorry, mate. I'm not interested. <laughs> Hi. Yes, I have some information about a posted bounty. Yes, the assailant is at 3205 Melrose Avenue, apartment 207. Her name's Jane Ross. You'll find the gun used stashed under the bed. Oh, how do I know all this? Let's just say she opened herself up to me. <laughs> <laughs> 